JR El Javi Sub video. Today we've got a live unboxing featuring Uncle Danny's collection. How's it going, bro? Killer. Yeah. Oh, 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 what was that? Sheesh. Things are falling down here at the house. Give me a second while I open my own iPad. Open it up to my own channel. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's crack this open. Do you know what's in these, Danny? Some of them. Some of them? Well, are these are mostly from Randy? No. No? So I think that first one, is that one say Randy on it? Rick. Oh, this Rick's one. Rick. So I got a couple from Rick Fun Network, and then a couple of from Randy. One from a new seller, uh, Lady T Comics, oh. and then more from Rick Funk, specifically from Dash. That. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Everybody, these are, again, I, I made the uh, sort of mistake-ish thing. I don't know if you call it a mistake, but to introduce Uncle Danny to the comic book shopping network on Facebook. Um, I told him at the very beginning, be careful. It's easy to uh, end up spending all the monies on the comics. And then I didn't listen. And he's like, nah, I should be fine. I was like, all right, you've been warned. And now look. <laughs> all right. Let's see what we got here. Well, you really make sure you guys get the stuff, yeah? They're on it, man. They're on it. Okay, Whoa. What even is this, bro? Uh, I think it's Penny for the Soul. See, I don't, I'm not a fan of this, like, title stuff. Like, how do you even... Oh, it's double bag? Double bag! Because you're going to ruin... They know you're going to ruin the first co like, <laughs> the outer bag. Like, that's like 15 bucks. 15 bucks for this book? Oh, I think a lot of these are going to be like... Uh, Best ones, okay. Like NASCAR. <laughs> NASCAR? I mean, like, I think they say like NASCAR is like... Oh, kind of like that. oh okay, okay, okay. So I think most of these are going to be like... Danny has become a comic book tour. Art, man. It's like really good art, man. Civil War II, right on. Wonder Woman Black and Gold. That's interesting. I've never seen this. Oh, dude! Conan in the Avengers is something awesome. You know, this has become a very popular book. I, super hot. I know nothing about this book. I haven't read anything with it. I will give you one of my sets when I finish okay. <laughs> I need to start it first. Oh well, yeah, I mean, you know, you, you have more stuff than you can ever read I right now. Oh, well, it's signed too? Nice. Yeah, so one thing about Brian Polito, man, he's on it with his certificate of authenticity. Very nice. Onslaught Reborn, wow. Spider Punk That's 1. Amazing. That's, That's cool. Like, it just started. Cool, cool, cool. Oh! Sheesh. Hope you're not going to need those bags later. Yeah, probably. Black Cat 5. Oh, Dark Avengers. Nice. <laughs> Danny! <laughs> Danny! You're a terrible human. I just follow Matt. Matt. <laughs> this is true. Matt. Matt's the true bad influence, man. Really, really nice, man. Like, yeah, of course. Like the detail. On yeah, it? absolutely. Like, zoom in on that. Look, zoom in on like her, her leg. Like, look at the crazy. Yeah, I mean, you cannot say that these artists are not talented. It's just that you know. I think this is another like a horror series that's like getting pretty hot, if not already. Oh, wow! Look at this gold key. Dagar the Invincible. That's pretty cool. 25 cent cover price. I don't even know. <laughs> I no, that's really, that's awesome. Super cool. That's awesome. I'm going to live that one on the side. For my collection? Oh, what? Oh. Like <laughs> okay. Hulk Holiday Special. Oh, bro. What? This is one of the best comic runs in the last 20 years, easily. If you can get the whole set of this, which is very difficult to do, um... Oh, it's what such a phenomenal that? read. Uh, well, last 
20... It's not that long. 2005, I want to say, maybe? Oh, that's amazing. Ooh. Ooh, this back cover's all jacked up, though. That's all right, that's all right, that's all right. We didn't see that. Um... Oh no, 2000. Oh, okay. So it's kind of on the old side. Um, but yeah, I mean, the artwork's great, but it's really a funny book. Like, you started it. Huh? You read the whole thing. I read the whole thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's really, really funny. Um, the humor is... is I, I don't know how you explain it. You know, the, the dry. story... Huh? Dry. Kind of dry, yeah, but... Yeah, Captain Marvel, <laughs> this version of Captain Marvel is the... The genetic um, clone of the original Marvel, and um, he gets connected to Rick Jones, which his dad was also connected to Rick Jones, and they the hijinks ensues. And um, yeah, oh nice, Heroes for Hire, Shang Chi, number two, cool. That's a double if you want. That. Uh, now I'm good. Thank you. <clears throat> Ten. World War Hulk time. You know anything about World War Hulk? Uh, yeah. No. I mean, I have stuff, but I think I'm reading Oh, look. <laughs> look at this cover. Danny. What? This is like the hentai cover. <laughs> With the, the girls are tied up, and there's monsters in the back, and literal tentacles. Dude, it's going to get... It's gonna get worse when we open more boxes. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, you got a pretty close to a full run of that. That's that's good. I mean, you know, no, it's a full, decent run. Like decent that. run, yeah. What Dude, is that this? I don't know. Mike Wolfer. The next one? Okay. Yeah, Wolverine. Yep. Yep. Oh, this is Rob Layfield doing this cover. You know what the joke about Rob Layfield is, right? Is he the feet one? The feet guy, yeah. So li look at this cover, but there are no feet. Which is fine, I mean, you know. Oh, I have this. Chromium Guardians 25. New Avengers 20. Cool. Dark Avengers. You know, this was a run that I wanted to buy, but I never got around to getting any of that. Alien Worlds Eclipse Comics. 89? No, 83? Wow. Well, this is here? Yeah, it says 83 down here. Ah. Wow, that's pretty cool. Very different, very different. Harley Quinn? Oh, wow. Look at that, Danny. I don't even know what that is. Avengers 202? Super low on the, you know, the run. Oh, the age okay. of the run. What is this? Dude, it's nice. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, box number two. Kachunk. Uh, another from oh, this is Rick Funk. We got the funk. Uh, we got the funk. Oh, yeah, they're like I think they are like four sellers on their on their channel. It's like Rick, Dash, Andy, and Anthony. Okay. And Anthony is the son of Randy. Mm hmm. They know how to package their stuff, though. It's, you know, professional comic book sellers. Better package their stuff good. Oh, come on. Ugh. Box number two of... How many we got? One, seven. Seven boxes? I, have a <laughs> I see no problem here. And that's why you have a problem. <laughs> People say I have a comic problem. <laughs> it's uh it's kinda okay day at the at the house. Danny Asidra. Asidra. Oh look at that free comic book day. Nice walking dead. Nice, dude. I have a feeling I don't know I don't follow the um the trending on something like this but I'm gonna guess that this is probably gonna be high value at some point mm. nice for comic book day tex oh. 
Secrete Invasion, Miss Marvel. Greg Horn. You know the story of Greg, Greg Horn, right? No. So, uh, Greg Horn in the mid 2000 and I don't know, 5 through 15 or so, his, his artwork of women was very popular. And then somebody figured out uh, he was light boxing porn stars. What? Yeah, basically you take an image and you either put it up on the TV and you like put your paper up against it and then you... Tracy? Yeah. What? Yeah. That's gnarly. And it was, it was all adult porn stars, you know what I mean? So they but were... he's still making porn? He is, he is. And I don't think he does it as much, but you know, he kind of like unlocked the cheat code. And when, once he got found out, nobody was happy about it. This is cool. I don't know. what What is this, bro? Xenoscope? Demons the Unseen. I like this. Did you just say Demons? De yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a Grim Freighter Tales. Oh, interesting. Have you read any Grimms? No. Pretty gnarly, man. This is cool. I like that. I'm, you know, I've never really been a huge fan of anything that's in the... In the Fairy tale. Yeah, fairy tales realms, yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool too. Black Sable. It's kind of like um, uh, anime, like space pirate action. Yeah. Uh huh. You've been watching our streams with Uncle Matt stuff, haven't you? No. No? Oh, this is all. Uncle Matt would be. Yeah, I know. It's very. Would be creaming himself <laughs> right now. Gonna, oh my yeah, gosh. Britney Spears on one. Oh, come on. What? Jesus' girlfriend, oh, Mary dude, Magdalene? Right? Like, Jesus Christ, comic book? How could you not get it? Ay, uh, maybe it's almost like reading one. <laughs> All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, this is the reprint, yeah? I have no idea. So, Uncanny Avengers, right? There was just before this storyline was the X Men versus the Avengers storyline. And um, after that storyline ended, they came out with this, which was supposed to be called, they called themselves, in the book, they called themselves the Unity Squad. So it was half X Men and half old school Avengers to sort of like re reestablish the trust with the, with the X Men. Did they have to like timelines kind of thing or no 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 it was directly same. after X-Men vs. Avengers free yeah. comic book day all different Avengers no oh. this is when we don't talk about the all different <laughs> oh yeah Spider Woman good nice nice Avengers of the Wastelands who's doing this cover um hmm Hey, look at that. Nice, bro. I don't know what. That's the same one from the collection. That I don't, I didn't, I don't recognize that. Spider-Man 10. Cool. Mighty Thor. Oh, okay. Do you know what this is? No. Uh, I don't know Thor stuff that well, but I do know that there was a period where he wasn't holding the hammer. And this, there was a big, like, there were, there were several Thors running around, basically. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> like beta rebuild. Yep. Nice, going cool. Number one. Holiday special number one. Silk. Gotta love silk. Deceased. Nice. Whoa. Well, that's cool. Is that Captain America? Yeah, it's like a Spider Woman cosplaying oh, as Captain America. Like that's an homage. Yeah. Okay, we don't talk about Captain Marvel. Oh. Wow. Catwoman. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay, and we don't talk about Captain Marvel. <laughs> Spider Man. Ooh. Cover, that's right? cool. Isn't that nice? Yep. Yep. We got Spider Gwen. Spider Ham. Spider Man Noir. Spider Woman Black, whatever that's called. And then I guess India and Britain. That's cool. More Catwoman. Legit, legit. Bad maid. Come on, Danny. What? I get it, you're... you're never mind. This is, this is pretty cool, these covers. Is this the 
That's level six. Um. Oh no, I think he was missing like see, one. Six or no, there's one. Well, I mean, like one. Five, two. Three. Well, you're missing number three, yeah. but that's kind of cool. Burn fails Taro. Yeah. Catwoman. Yeah. Catwoman with Ivy on the cover. Look at that bloody cover. Yeah. What is this? Deceased. Seventy Dora. Bro! Oh, I think he was, it was 25%. 25% Stay it! I'm gonna open it just to see what, what it even is. Hey, pro tip everybody, you open a comic with tape on it, you roll over the tape so that it's on this side, and then when you take your book out, it doesn't stick to the tape. Wow, I gotta open the inside cover to figure out what this is, okay. Pro tip number two, hold the comic using your four fingertips and into the crease of your palm here so you don't bend your spine. Okay. What? Danny, what is this? Uh, I forget. Oh, oh, oh. Vampirella. Okay. That makes sense. With Vampirella, but this is actually a Red Sonia on the cover. So it's, it's, it's a crossover. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a crossover. See, now at least you know. Which is, you know, now that I've just done that, it's kind of interesting if you think about it. Because it forced me to open the book to see what it was. At least look at the few panels inside to figure out what it was, you know? You know, a lot of people just buy stuff and they go, I don't even know what this is. I mean, I can go back to my invoice and well, yeah, it's probably it's the only seventy dollar book in your stack. <laughs> Potentially. <Or> Potentially. <laughs> All right, here's from okay. Collector's Paradise, uh -huh. Randy. Randy Straha. Randy. I have a, a high school friend of mine named Aaron Suha. So every time I hear Tusha, I, Tush, Tusha, Tusha. I, for some reason, and Suha Tusha kind of reminds me of that. I'm just silly though. So far, some pretty good stuff. So far, some whoa, whoa, whoa. questionable stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's not my fault that Matt and I have similar tastes. No, it's it's totally Matt's fault. <laughs> oh yeah, it's usually like hardcore. Yeah, he really packages it. Yeah, but that's how you do it. You know, yeah, you, you package it till it's till it's a big brick. And they, the comics take care of each other, you know. Seems weird to say, but it's true. Like you know, when you, when if you run a comic shop, <laughs> sometimes the comics come to you in all kind of weird condition, man. It sucks. Okay, that works. Okay. Almost there. Oh, Elizard manga, very nice. You know, growing up, I I own very little manga, actually, like almost not. You know, and um, in in my days as a kid, we had these uh, Americanized reprints of manga, and so it would be Western style comic books with manga covers, manga artwork interiors, but English text. Mm -hmm. And that's how they sold them in the US for a while. They're copying the same story from It's the same thing, yeah, yeah, it's, it's translated. It's translated. Right, right, right. But this style of traditionally smaller, you know, like, a uh, comic is 11 and a half by six and a half, but manga is nine and a half by five and a half. Something like that, right? So this was never the, um, the shape of a comic that I would ever buy. You know, but yeah, El Hazard is very classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Lock and key, heaven and earth, hardcover. Interesting. Who's this by? Joe Hill. Huh. That's actually really nice. <laughs> the zombies? Is the zombies in there? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh no, some zombies. Okay, yeah. It's a zombie. Live action photos in the back? 
Oh, that's unusual. Oh, that's cool. Look, they're showing like the references mm -hmm. for some of the art. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you know, it's funny. We, as comic readers, there's something weird in our brain that implies that, you know, comic artists just come up with stuff in their brain. But actually, it, a lot of it is reference material. And some people get very upset at that. They're like, why are you getting upset? That's... What is this? Strange thing. Is it Marvel? I don't know if it's Marvel. It's got Iron Man on it. Yeah, it's Marvel. Yeah, Marvel. Strange Tales. Oh, interesting. Strange Tales number two. Hopefully it's the whole run. Marvel's Shadowland Blood on the Streets. Huh. Anthony Johnson. That's pretty cool. Crime Noir and Superheroes. Interesting. Mary Jane, Earth X, can't go wrong with that. Some uh, Alex Ross, Edge. Oh, Cross Gen. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, Cross Gen, man. Um, it was it's uh it was an independent comic company for a while. It was out there, a couple of years. And um, the problem with Edge or CrossGen was that they were too good at this, literally making okay. trades, and like within six months of them coming out, they'd put a trade up, and within a year or two, people were like, "I'm not going to buy the monthlies. I'm just going to wait for trades." Yeah. And within three years, they were gone because <laughs> everybody was like, "No, we're going to be." Uh, patient and just wait for the trade but it, it killed them yeah so <sighs> gotta be careful I like Dennis Hopeless he's a very good writer and I like his art style too lock and key alpha omega so this was your box of trades huh yeah cool he's like half off he always does like half off trades oh yeah 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 can't go wrong with that <gasps> oh, oh, oh this is why it was so heavy okay this is new uh Lady T Comics not on the comic book shop network. Totally different. They what? reached out to me, like What? I don't know, like I guess they probably saw me on one of the comic book shopping networks and they like messaged me straight up and they're like, Hey, like we have a show. I'm like, uh So these are whatever. comic sailors we'll sellers out. on Facebook? Yeah, they're it's just a whole network, you know, they're on they do their own thing. Okay. Same stuff, same you know same dealio. Mostly same rules, whatever. Well, you know, uh Instagram has a bunch of sellers too. Uh, oh, yeah. Don, a lot of them, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 there's oh. peanuts. Oh, I hate peanuts. Oh, I feel a slab in here. Oh, these are the guys that, like, they gave away, like, they don't like Eternals. So they gave away, like, a free 9-8 slab of Eternals. Free? It was supposed to be 100 bucks. What? They're like, just type in free and it's yours. And I'm like, no. Hi. I What's up? It. I'm making sushi. Oh, okay, great. With cucumbers. Sounds delicious. Wow. And I even eat plain nuts. I see. I do eat plain Oh, I do that too. Actually. Where's this? What state are these guys in? Oh, you trying? Oh, you can't eat it. Man. It's not a real thing. Mm. Arizona. Oh, Arizona as well. Oh, interesting. Dude, Arizona is huge. Yeah, me and me, me and the boys visited Arizona. Um, our last trip to Vegas, we took a road trip there. Um, and uh, yeah, just within driving distance, there was probably four, three or four, uh, comic shops. Yeah. Plus, the nice thing about Arizona is dry. You know, you don't, you get a lot less uh, moisture damage. In a situation like that, you know? Yeah, I was gonna ask you, when I moved back into town, is 
there any specific way I can like uh, I mean, you can, but. What's my promise you're just gonna get Well. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it is. I'm not about to use that <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Well, I'm good. Oh, there it is, everybody. New Avengers number seven. First appearance of the Illuminati. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Whoa! Tell me about it. Oh, this is not the first series, though. Oh, okay. What is that? How do you... 30 Days of Night. <sighs> Did you know the star of 30 Days of Night? Okay, first off, they've got a movie, so you should go watch the movie. I don't want to ruin it for you. Is it super old? Uh, not really. 90s? Mm -hmm. No, no, in the 2000s. Aww. Oh, man. Marlin is alive. Department of Truth. Oh, Department of Truth. That's another big one. That's oh. getting really high. Interesting. What's that one? Oh. Well, you know what's in this? I think there's going to be the boys. Okay. All new, all different. Nice. With the Alex Ross cover. Can you spot Alex Ross covers yet? They yeah. look like this. They're hand-painted, like, photorealistic style of art. Oh, Avengers Zero. Oh. Okay, okay. New Defenders. New Defenders? Interesting. Doctor Strange, number one. Light of Bones. Okay, okay. Some Justice League 14. No, just Justice League. Number 14. And... Catwoman 8. Last Days of Black Widow, number 19. And, oh, there's the boys. Number 49. Oh, oh and uh, the boys, number 45. Nice, nice. It's, it's very different, though. The show is va way different from the comic. That has some of the jazz in it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just a little bit. It's only a splash. No, I promise. I see it. <laughs> I approve, by the way, of uh, blue tape on uh, comic bags. It's a good way to go. Um, see how nicely it comes up? So many ways to uh, package comics. To package them properly using blue tape. I package them improperly using masking tape. I mean, uh, packaging tape. Like the clear... Clear yeah. tape is not... No bueno, bro. Okay. I don't know about this. First team president? I don't know about that. Uh, Justice League 30. Cool. Grim Fairy Tales again, number zero. Age of Darkness, free comic book day. Ooh! Oh, bro, this is I so good. Know. Is that Wonder Woman? Yeah. Um, this is a... Uh, uh, look at that. It's so nice. Yep. Yeah, George Perez, who just recently passed away. Uh, pencil, written and pencil, that's rare. Inked by Will Blyers. Yeah, this is an amazing run. The artwork, the writing, just something special during this Wonder Woman run. I'm not a huge Wonder Woman fan. You know, I just never really got into her. Uh, but, yeah, you can't deny, I mean, just look at that. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's eye catching, that's, you know, high detail. New Warriors Annual. Extremists. Okay, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like some like walk Wonder Woman, more boys. Okay, comics, cool. Like, just look interesting. So I'm like, why not? 1959. Wow. Wow. I have not yet begun to fight. That's crazy. And it's number 1007? What? 
I'm confused by that. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that over there. Wow, look at this stuff, Danny. We're dude, that's why like stuff like this, like underground stuff. Well, I don't know if that's considered underground, but like wonky, like interesting stuff. In my These are you know photo covers, right? These are photos of of that crew. What? Ice cream men? Oh yeah, that's another like in the realm of like uh, Department of Truth and. Oh, Ministry of Space. Okay, I know of Ministry of Space. Strange girl. Wait, you know Ministry of Space? Yeah, I'm familiar with it, yeah. I, I didn't it. read much of it, but... I got it because of the airplanes. Because the what? The airplanes oh. there. The boys. Garth Ennis. The boys are there. Something's Something killing. killing children. Shang-Chi, good. Our fighting fortress. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, nice. Nice. The strange tales. Cool, cool. That's super cool. Was there a series called The Dagger? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it is on Hulu, I think. This is probably the first time we see the black Doctor Strange costume. I'm gonna guess. I don't know. What is the 8.5. Uh, Roy Thomas, Gene Colan. Oh, yeah, Doctor Strange dons new costume. Yep, so first appearance of the black hood costume. Cool. Not that that particular costume meant anything really. It was just a new look. And he didn't keep it very long. Sometimes, you know, costume changes. It's funny. Sometimes they're arbitrary, like there's no reason for them. Yeah. Other times, they happen because any number of given problems could come up with the current costume. So like, um, uh, you know, the most famous story is Green Hulk, right? Like, when they first introduced the Hulk, he was gray, yeah. right? And then they couldn't, they were having a difficult time keeping the gray consistent. So Stanley was like, well, well the, color of it? the color gray, yeah. They were having a hard time keeping him consistently the same color gray. Um, so they said, well, just Stanley was like, just make him green. <laughs> yeah. So it could be arbitrary changes like that. Oh, yeah. Bruh, the boys' comics are crazy. I have all of the traits. Uh, there's what? Like, yeah, there's like Why 10 traits. I, these? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, New Warriors. I have the whole run of New Warriors, too. All the way up to 175. Jesus. Yeah. Look at that. Dude. Maybe 69. Fantastic Voyage photo cover. Oh. Key. No, no, no. I'm not going to touch this. It's just nice to look at, you know? Right. New Warriors 4, cool. Warrior Kings, cool. Fallen Angels, there's several books in here. Oh, this is all kinds of stuff. Let's see what this is. It's a grab bag. Let's see what's in here. I think they're just trying to save money on bags. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. Elseworlds, Superboy, okay. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's the annual, that's why. Makes sense. Oh, Fallen Angels. Chips Ahoy the comic. <laughs> Fallen Angels 8 and 7 and 8. Let's we'll try it out. <laughs> Strange Intruder. <laughs> cool. Amethyst. Sure. Amethyst. Amethyst, Amethyst, okay, okay. Yuppies from Hell, 1989. My word. 
Oh, Fallen Angels won. Cool. I I don't know what this Fallen Angels thing is. It's cool. That looks like. Let me see. Yeah, I can see why it's an eight five. I guess. Oh yeah. You can grade stuff. Well, you got an idea. You know what? So when you're thinking of grade grading comic, the first thing you're gonna check is the spine, mm. right? If there's anytime somebody puts a little nick in it, it brings the grade down slightly. Next thing you're gonna look is at the corners of the books, yeah. right? And you can see this one has a little bit of like a they call it a color break or a ding, I guess, mm -hmm. right? Um, that'll bring it down. Same goes for the back. So like especially along here, this marking, um, ink smear basically. That'll that's considered a, hit, a lot of damage, um, and then other things like like right here, this corner's got a ding on it. Um, you know the staples are not rusty. Uh, the color overall is nice. You know it's not faded. It hasn't been out in the sun. Uh, even sometimes like um, I don't know what you call it, but sometimes if you you're holding a comic and then there's a weird fold that happens in the cover and it leaves a little like crescent shape yeah. right where that fold happened yeah that'll bring down your condition as well condition is everything You know what I'm gonna say? We don't talk about Cap Marvel, no, no. Cool. Ultimate Ant. Interesting. Oh, Red Sonia. All right. Harley Quinn three, good. Hundred page monster one oh nine. Okay, okay. Uh, this is a homage cover to um. No. Uh, Marvel uh, Comics Presents number 100 where Wolverine is crushing Ghost Rider or something. Garden of Emptiness. Okay. Hey, Big Page Comics. Cool. Oh, Mighty Four 475. Chrome cover. Very cool. Order Red Sonia. Fearless Defenders. Good, good. Department of Truth. What number is it? 16. Oh, nice. Extinction Parade. Ooh. Interesting. Black Ball Comics. Is this Trencher? This Trencher, huh? No idea. That's cool. Terry Moore Echo. Super vibrant that one. Yeah. Who is that on the front? This guy? Yeah. Deathlock? Yeah. Interesting. Black Cat 5. Future begins here incoming. Oh, this is a big old book. Wow. It's ten bucks. It's a cover price. Spider Man. Hmm. All right, Kingdom Come number one. Very cool. Again, Alex Ross cover. Painted cover. Oh yeah, I have that. Charmed. Painted on the skin. Interesting. Interesting stuff, bro. Some of this stuff I've never seen. I like it. Avengers World One. Cool. Oh, ow. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Avengers 260. That's cool. Over in Origins, nice. Valiant, nice. Screaming zombie guy. Sweet. <laughs> no, it's not Berserker. You know what happened with Berserker? No. So, the thing about Berserker was... They, they allowed for 
returns with Berserker, which is unusual. Not most comic companies don't allow. So, all the comic shops overordered, and then sent back their unsold issues. But the publisher, I forget who it was, bloated their sales numbers and said, "Hey, check this out! This is sold this many issues," and it encouraged all the people to go out and get this best-selling book. We don't talk about. Look at the corner. It's like bent, yeah. Who that? This one? Yeah. Uh, these darn kids. Oh, yeah, Club Bike. Bike Club, excuse me. Oh, here. I'm a Warlord of Oz. This is oh, really cool, man. It's not, oh, it is Warlord. Yeah. This is really cool. I really like... Most of the time, I could care less about Oz stuff. Yes, babe. Yeah. Shave rice. Shave rice. Instead of shave ice, I said shave rice. I hear you. This is interesting, Danny. What is this? Uh, that's okay, let's check it out. So these are oversized. Uh, these are. Trades. Mm, I think these are Jack Kirby pencils with somebody doing paint paintwork over them. Let's see if I'm right. They are really beat up, that's for sure. Maze your friends, stun them with a vast knowledge of little known facts. Spider Man, Fantastic Four, Hulk, and Cap. Yeah, featuring Art of Kirby. Um, Milwaukee Publishing Corp. What is this? Whoa! This is colored in crayon! Okay, so this is like. Okay, yeah, they're basically reprints. Oh. But I mean, this is, you know, good stuff. This is all Jack Kirby artwork. Jack Kirby pens. Uh, inks. Avengers 4. So, I mean, you know, this is, this is like. The quality, um. You know, like. Origin. Important, critical landmarks in the story of, of these particular characters. Yeah. <laughs> More crayon. I didn't pay much for these, bro. I can't remember. Uh, Hopefully not. So, yeah, that's interesting. Because this is, this is famous, like, Jack Kirby style. Done over with paint. You know? Interesting. Interesting. Did you get all of them? Probably got one of the ads. So, Cap, Fan 4, Spider Man. Missing Hulk? I think the Hulk one. There's only four? Yeah. Wow. Tarzan. Interesting. Oh, comment one, please. Wow. Oh, interesting uh, pickups, Danny, on this, this particular box. These are, these are, these are interesting. I really like this. Uh, I like the idea of. To me, when I see Grim, I've never read a single Grim Fairy Tale anything. Uh, but I imagine that Grim Fairy Tales is kind of more like. Uh, uh, well, I mean, it's not superhero, right? Yeah. Right. Either. Two more. Uh, Two more. Small thing. Oh, There's this is the baller boxes. You know, There's not a lot in it because they're ballers. <laughs> but we'll just leave it at that. Well, when you've got, uh, you know, a bunch of expendable income from your, uh, from your uh, OnlyFans site. <laughs> just kidding. Uncle Danny does not have OnlyFans. Don't go looking for Uncle Danny's OnlyFans. Hashtag. Go look for Uncle Danny's OnlyFans. <laughs> you won't be disappointed. Well, maybe you will be. Okay. It's funny. You guys should see the mess that we make every time we do one of these. No, no. No, but even when we do it with the boys. Oh. No, that's enough. Stuff goes everywhere, you know? Whoops. Sorry.
Oh, look at this Slabsville. Come on. There we go. Oh, these are not slabs. These are my lights. I thought these were slabs. Yeah. Apartment of Truth 18. It's signed. It's like a remind. It's like $50 to get a remind. Like, it's crazy. Don't open them. <laughs> 274 of 500. Cool. Interesting. I'm assuming you know what this is. Apartment of Truth? Yeah, but I mean, what the what the, uh, like the issue what the cover is supposed to be? No, okay. Enjoy your life. Look at those so these are sketches on top of these covers, yeah? Huh? Yeah, it's yeah. It's cool. That's so sick. It's pretty cool. These are cool, man. The color ones. Yeah, That's these are cool. super cool. Oh man. And so this is from Dash, and like he was doing a twenty-five percent off show. He was doing it like every single day because he went to Aruba. Okay. So he was just like trying to make some money. What the heck? So Dang, those are pretty much unique, I think, right? Like, oh, yeah. no, nobody's gonna have something like that. Cool, bro. Those, I mean, you know what? It's not really my scene, per se, but there's no denying that's cool. Yeah, I have a bunch. What? Yeah. Why did you play ever? No. Oh. You know who plays, right? Yeah, James then. Nice, Catwoman and Batman. Is this Batman? Thousand? No. Spider-Gwen. Cool. Um, oh, nice. Avengers one, number one. Sweet. Secret Avengers. One of my favorite writers, Warren Ellis. Writes Planetary. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. Marvel Comics 1. Cool. You know what this is featuring? It's supposed to be. Um, Torch? Yeah, the original Human Torch, which is a robot, right? An android, android guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, cool. Like World War II era, right? Mm -hmm. Submariner, cool. That oh, pre sure one. Nice cover. Yep, yep, yep. So colorful. Uncanny X Men one, featuring the ladies. Flaming Carrot, good. Oh, you know Flaming Carrot? Yeah, he's been around a long time. I had like seen it. I was like, I've never seen this. Yeah. I don't know what that is. More hentai, Danny. I'm Stop. noticing a trend. Oh, signed. Bruh, signature, there's no insert. What's going on? Unless it's on the other side of the cardboard. I mean, you know, you know, like, personally, I don't really care. If I was there to witness the signature, it doesn't matter. And especially because, oh yeah, there's no cert. You know, there's there's no, no going back. Right. right, so there's no reason to get stressed out about it, but. Cool. The whole box? Okay. <clears throat> Cool yeah, you know you have a problem when you have like no idea what's in a box, and you're like, hmm, yeah. why is this even here? It's more of a problem when you're like, oh, I have two of those already. No, <laughs> no, there's no problem with that. I disagree. <laughs> oh yeah, there's not much in here at all. Oh, is it just one slab? I don't know. Oh, I know. Now I know what this is. <laughs> Do you? 
It's really in there. Jeez. Okay. So, yep, looks like one slab. Something old. Let's see, if I had to guess what this is. Oh, oh man, here you go. I don't know. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you insane person. Wow. Look at that. 944 CBCS graded Avengers 129. Not the first Kang. But he is a cover appearance. And a Rama Tut cameo. That's cool. Yeah. Hmm? Read it? Have I read this? No. I actually, you know what? I might have. A long time ago I bought all the uh, what are they called? The Essentials. The black and white reprints of all the Avengers. Like one numbers one through seven of the Essentials. So I think the total would be like. I think they're like. 18 books, 18 comics of books, so maybe I got this far. But, you know. Yeah, probably. Anyway, cool slabs, man. Wow. You know, good thing we open them, you know, you know, at least if you need to go back and be like, when did I open this? You can at least know it was on the video. Cool, man. All right. Uh, appreciate everybody who watched all of the, myself. Um, yep, yeah, catch you guys on the next one. Aroha.